Drivers of some of the most popular cars, trucks, and SUVs in America are now saying that they have a problem that they cannot get fixed. One of them did reach out to Action 9's Jason Stujanki about this, and Jason quickly found out that this local driver is not alone. He's live tonight, and Jason, we're talking about potentially millions of General Motors vehicles. Yeah, that's right, Scott. So the man who owns this Chevy Silverado pickup truck, he contacted me, told me he was having problems with what felt like the transmission. So I came up here to Concord, met him, and we drove around for a while in his vehicle. Then I started looking into this and realized, like you said, he's not alone. You can feel it already. Feel that? Yeah, that little vibration. Yeah. Stephen Brack bought this Chevy Silverado last year. It's a $52,000 pickup truck. One reason, he told me, he didn't expect this. It's just a constant shutter vibration. I call it Chevy shutter. What does it feel 45 like? 45 miles an hour, it's just a constant shake. Really? Just a constant vibration. I checked complaints to the federal agency NHTSA. I typed in the word shake and shutter for certain year Chevys, and I found two others from the Carolinas, one in Columbia, one in Sophia, near Greensboro. So all of us are stuck with just having to own it and drive it. And there's also this, a potential class action lawsuit against GM. It involves all of these vehicles, some of the most popular on the road, including Silverados, Colorados, Escalades, and Yukons. The plaintiffs claim the company has been aware of the problem for years. They say GM issued more than a dozen technical service bulletins to dealerships yeah, telling them about this alleged issue. GM emailed me, owners should visit their GM dealer, and dealers have service and technical procedures to address this concern. It sits under the bell housing. Brack told me so he took his truck to a case. dealer and that the dealer see, couldn't fix it. General Motors has to respond, and if they can't fix them, then they need to start buying them back. Now, the plaintiffs say what these vehicles all have in common is that they are all eight-speed automatic transmissions. I put the full list on the WSOC app. Guys. And, Jason, I know if, if someone has one of these cars or trucks and they have a transmission problem, you want them to, to email you as well. And, and what else? Mm -hmm. Uh, make sure they document the problem as best they can. It's always good to have the paperwork. Also, go ahead and tell GM, tell a dealer, tell NHTSA. And again, like you said, go ahead and email Action 9. Thanks, Jason.